Hey everyone, D here. Alright, so the reason for this video is because I was watching a YouTuber on the YT. Yeah. And he read a letter from someone that stated, would you have a sexual or and or a relationship with someone who knowingly had an incurable STD? And that sparked my interest. The reason being, as everybody know, I'm a nurse. But above all that, I actually know a person that was in a relationship with a lady who was uh, an advocate for HIV and who, who herself was infected with the virus. Um, she was raped as a virgin um, when she was about 19 years old, 19, no, I take that back. She was 23 because she was a late bloomer trying to save herself for marriage. Was raped on her first date with this guy and contracted the virus. She contracted the virus the same time, around the same time that Magic Johnson did, so like the late 80s, early 90s. And my personal belief I could be really wrong about this, but my personal belief is that they have med management and or a cure for the first strand or the original strand of HIV AIDS. That's my personal belief. I have no scientific knowledge to back me up with that, but it just seems that if they survive, you know, from the 90s, they seem to still be here and be in very good health. This lady was adorable, um, very pretty lady. Um, she was in her 40s. Um, she had another child being HIV positive, so she was on. She had one child, and um, that resulted from that rape. Um, so not only did she become HIV positive, but she also was pregnant. And um, so, but anyway, my friend's uncle was the one that dated her. And they were both church going people and all that stuff, but she openly told the whole entire family that yes, she was HIV positive. And the family embraced her, but they were very concerned about their uncle. And I gotta tell you, I sat there three hours talking to her. And that's why I know so much about her, her life history because it intrigued me, not so much that she, wow, she had cooties, as, as if you want to call it, you know, because some people treat people like that. It was more like, wow, how strong are you to have endured all this and still maintain a positive attitude and still have the courage to go out and date other men and tell them your status right up top, you know, off the top, she tells them. She protects herself, she protects the guy. And I just thought that was remarkable that she took ownership in her tragedy that was dealt to her. Um, and for anyone that's out there that's HIV positive or have full blown AIDS, please, however I word words right now, I am not meaning to be any type of derogatory at all. Um, I wish the best for anybody that has an incurable STD. So my question to you is, would you date someone knowingly that they had HIV or the virus that could cause AIDS. Me personally, I would not. Um, reason being is because sex is supposed to be enjoyable and this is what the YouTuber said and I totally agree with him. I wish I remembered his name but it was late at night when I watched it a couple of days ago. Sex is supposed to be enjoyable and however you are supposed to protect yourself on every sexual encounter but what if um, for one reason or another it's your regular sexual partner um, you're a monogam in a monogamous relationship and you just don't have a condom if they're HIV positive that's not an option you know you don't have that option so, no, I would not date somebody knowing that they had an incurable STD. I do know of another person that has um, herpes that is now married and has a child. And whenever this person and 
her significant other get into an argument, he brings up the fact that she has herpes and that he has to always protect himself from getting her pregnant. I mean, from, from getting the, the virus. And uh, I don't know how it was possible for her to conceive with using uh, protection all the time and that now that they have a five-year-old baby. So I don't know, those are just things that sparked my, my um, interest and um, didn't want to pry into their lives, so I don't know the, the answers to that. But I'm reaching out to the YT family to see, what do you think? Would you date someone with that? And what's your feelings or reactions? All right.